Hey guys, what is up? Ready guy here. Coming over a new video. Let's talk about Gamescom 2019. I, I'm just, I, I was gonna say 2016. That, that, that's bullshit. That was three years ago. <laughs> so guys, I hope you like the video. Please, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe uh, to, to make sure to subscribe to the channel and have a good time. Go drink your cup of coffee or your beer and let's talk about Gamescom 2019. First of all, Sony just knocked it out of the park with buying a studio that is one of my favorite studios since ever that it was Insomnia Games. If you don't know Insomnia Games, they make Spider-Man 2018 that has sold 13 million copies. And it's one of the best games ever made and by basically the best superhero game better than Batman Arkham uh, Asylum 9. The entire franchise of Arkham really believe in me, me. But this means that maybe we will see the resurface and revival of the one of the best first person shooters I ever played. Resistance Fall of Man. Maybe I'm just gonna call it Resistance, but Resistance has been one of the best video game first person shooters I ever played in my life. And I thought that was the Halo. Uh, and it was kind of have Halo Gears type of feel of the PlayStation. You can say Halo was type of Gears, but no, Halo was kind of, uh, well, sorry, Killzone was actually way weirder. But yeah, and another, in none of the news is that. Death Stranding has been very weird in some kind of way, really. Death Stranding released a gameplay with John Knightley, I think it's called the guy. And yeah, I have been showing the guy for a long time, but I don't, still don't know how to pronounce his name. But Hideo Kojima showed an amazing demo. But we didn't see kind of action. I know the game is going to have a ton and ton of action, but we are not going to see... We didn't see that on this trailer. And the thing I want to know about this trending is the weird story that has been common in the trailers and everything like that. And yes, you can pee. Yes, you can pee. Uh, that really reminds me of Duke Nukem Forever. Oh my god. Well, and let's talk about Gears 5. By the way, I'm a big fan of Gears of the Gear franchise. Gears of War has been one of the best third-person shooter of all time. Gears of War, I love Gears of War 4. The story was not. The only thing I didn't like was the cliffhanger that really messed up real bad. Like really, 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 really bad. And going to Gears 5, we didn't see nothing about the story, and I was kind of disappointed because they always show some horde type of multiplayer. We know Gears is all about the multiplayer, but remember, uh, Gears of War is always about the story sometimes. And Judgment didn't have nothing about that. Judgment was so fucking short, and I really hated Judgment. Judgment is like the worst Gears of War of all of them, but it really was clunky at the same time. But Gears of War 5 has given me some hype. Like, I really want to play uh, the main character story, but I want it to be what happened to JD, How? what happened to his arm, if you remember the E3 trailer and all that and all that was shown. I really want to know and I think I'll be picking it up or maybe going with the uh, Xbox type of uh, that subscription about the game pass. And yes, I'll get it four days earlier and maybe I will give you the greatest review I ever done. Nah, I'm just kidding. And next up, we got one of the best games ever created, maybe of the century, the best RPG, better than Skyrim and better than you, because you or mom doesn't love you, is Witcher. Witcher on the Nintendo Switch, I've been very, very big fan, I'm fangirling right now, because how this open, massive world of a game can, uh, can be played on the Nintendo Switch, it will run 30 frames per second, and, 7, and 720 dock mode, and it will be 540 and 30 same frames per second, I think, on... on on handheld mode, still, to be this gigantic game of an RPG, it's still very, very incredible. And if this is true, if this game can run, you can get games like uh, maybe Cyberpunk 2077, or games like Red Dead Redemption, GTA 5, or, GTA, or, or, or Red, Dead, uh, Red Dead 1, and you can get it in there and uh, make it run very, very good. And that's why I love about uh, the Nintendo Switch, like, it's something, it's like life, you cannot do that, and they prove you wrong, you can do it, you can do it, you can do way worse about that, and that's why I love the Nintendo Switch about that, and talking about indies, Nintendo showing amazing indies, but 
Where's Decay of Logos? Decay of Logos launches in the 28th of August and is one of the RP is one of the games of indies that hasn't even been seen on the Nintendo Switch. I cannot even pre-order the game on the eShop. And I'm very, very disappointed on Nintendo. They they show yes the Microsoft exclusive logo title, Ori, and all that, but where is the K of Logos? I really want to see the K of Logos. If you don't know about that game, make sure to uh, search for it. So guys, I hope you like the video. I hope you like Gamescon and I'll bring you more news and type of content about Gamescon. And make sure to subscribe to the channel, uh, notifications on, and I'll see you later. This is quite a quick video because there's so much of this game that I only uh, get the, the hot topics. And maybe I'll do another video with another hot topic. Gamescom is this week and we still have tons to see. I'll see you later next time guys. Peace out.